welcome to this 11th talk. In the 10th, we were talking about looking at composers of the past. I hope you've been hunting through the internet and I hope you've been looking at music and listening to songs of the past, always listening out for one, four, five relationships. We're now going to be using this information to harmonize songs. We're just going to take folk song melodies and look for the simplest harmonization. The idea of this is I'm going to ask you always to do two harmonizations. First of all, the simplest possible, and then to look beyond that and maybe to try and be a bit more adventurous. Sometimes you'll come back to the simplest possible, it's often the best, but not necessarily. So please use, you know, we play music, composers play with material as well. So don't be afraid to just be a little more adventurous sometimes. First of all, though, we're just going to be boring and do the job very simply. You see, I've taken the solution I could have done. But I'm not sure if that would have been in keeping with a folk song. And you notice the little appoggiaturas. help to spice the music up a little bit. Life would be awfully boring if we always lived in constant harmony. Or... because it starts on an E, ends on an E, and uses on the white notes of the piano. Now here's a song that'll obviously work just with two chords. Okay, so I couldn't resist putting in a third chord at one spot. I could have done that all with G major. Now we'll try and be a little more adventurous because that could correctly be called slightly dull. Now you may think that's gilding the lily a little bit, so perhaps the truth is somewhere in between the two. This is what I mean by trying to be more adventurous, and then looking back at the simple version, you often end up deciding that the simplest version is the easiest. Let's try this in the minor. Again, we'll try simple. With this more adventurous version, I'm going to have to slow the tempo down a bit, just so that we have a chance to hear all of these harmonies.
The next song looks as though... It looks like G minor, but it has this rather exposed sixth interval, so it could very well be Dorian. This suggests it might be an old-fashioned type of song, so I'm going to few, use a few tricks from an earlier type of harmony. Putting in major chords at the end of what is basically a minor melody is called a tierce de Picardie. Please don't ask me why, I don't think anybody in Picardy knows this. Now the next song is a very tragic song. Es ist ein Schnitter, heißt der Tod. There is a reaper called Death. So when you come to harmonizing these songs, please use this type of figuration or 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 These have all been taken from Mozart and Schubert. See how far you can get with these so that you don't need to change the figuration at all provided it just doesn't get too dull. Mozart and Schubert are the people to look at now. Schubert wrote over 600 songs and very rarely repeated himself, so you can get a lot of ideas about figuration from his music. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.